back to technified. Technology simplified. I am Sarthi, also known as Cool, Chief of Online Learning here at Amal Hey, what you up to? This is a used lead acid battery. It's fully served its purpose. I'm wondering what to do with it now. Don't even think about discarding it. Why? Because we will have to recycle this battery. Oh wait, is it because the materials used in it are valuable and we shouldn't lead it for waste? Uh, it's a little more than that. Let me explain. So while battery recycling helps us extract valuable materials, it is also a good practice for the environment because these are the only products that are 100% recyclable. Oh wow, I didn't know that. But what's the process of recycling? I mean, how does it reach the recycling plant? Hmm, there's a bunch of steps. Let me take you through those. The first step in battery recycling is to collect used batteries from various sources um, such as automotive repair shops, battery retailers or even scrap yards. Usually where customers bring their used lead acid batteries. All these batteries are collected. They are transported to specialized recycling facilities. Once these used lead acid batteries reach the recycling facility, these batteries are first disassembled and then crushed with a hammer mill which breaks them down into smaller fragments. Now, this is a super important step because it helps with the efficient separation of lead, plastic and sulfuric acid. Now, in the next step, the segregated materials are processed and we can extract some valuable elements from this. So, the lead components are melted and purified. Now, this refined lead can be used to make new batteries or even alternative products. And materials such as the plastic casings can be processed into pellets uh, that can be used for manufacturing new plastic goods. And not to forget, sulfuric acid is neutralized and treated to meet environmental standards or it can also be used in making new batteries. Techniques like dust collection, air filtration and appropriate waste management are all being practiced to guarantee uh, that there is a safer and a more environmentally friendly management of these dangerous materials. Quite a process, yeah. I'm wondering what Amaraja does for battery recycling now. Mm, that's a good question. Amaraja are known for their batteries. But what we are also known for is our sustainable practices for making these batteries. About 85% of our lead procurement comes from secondary recycled sources. Mm -hmm. And we plan to increase this further by using minimal amounts of virgin lead for producing our lead acid batteries. Mm. So that's the power of responsible recycling. So remember, next time when you think about discarding these batteries, remember, it's not the end when they run out of power. It's the beginning of a new cycle powering sustainability at every step of the way. Our upcoming 150k metric ton battery recycling plant will be a milestone in sustainable technology. Our state-of-the-art facility with minimal manual intervention will help us preserve resources, thereby making a safer and a better world for the future generations to come. So remember to recycle your batteries responsibly. Until then, I'll find another tech topic for you. But if you want me to cover any other topic, write to me in the comments.